Hey guys, it's Jill. Hope you're all having an awesome day. So today I'm going to be doing a review on the Topic system. So if you guys don't know what this is, this is basically hair building fibers. It is, let's see, it is tinted. So I got it in the color, what did I get it in? Medium brown. I also bought the Fiber Hold Hairspray. And on top of that, I also bought the Topic Hair Perfecting Duo, which is a thing, a little thing that you can like put up to your hairline so you're not spraying the tint onto your forehead and also this little thing so I can attach it to this. Instead of shaking, I can actually spray it. So again, these are fibers, so if you want to, you can just go like this, but I don't trust myself, so I went ahead and I bought this. So I just took the cap off, and, hmm. <clears throat> ah, yes, maybe, maybe so. Okay, yes, so you have to actually take the full cap off in order to put this on, and now it becomes a spray with this little thing right here, so that way you can literally just spray. Now, you guys are probably looking and you're like, but Jill, your hair is not thin. Well, I recently got a haircut. My hair was like, it was pretty long. It was down my back, it was beautiful, I miss it. I know a lot of you guys like my short hair. I despise it. I was not wanting this haircut. I was wanting my long hair. One thing I will say, when I did get my hair cut, yes, it did make the appearance of my hair less thin-like because you know, like when my hair was long, it was like weighing all of this down. So trust me when I say it's definitely thin. You guys see, so like if I do it like this, and also, do you guys see? And I know for some people that might not be bothersome, but for me it is. You can totally see through my hair. I want my hair to look thick and full because down here it is thick, it's full, it's bouncy. I have tons of hair, but yeah, we're gonna try to cover up these spots right here where it's, you know, it's showing some scalp. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this. I have my mirror right here, so I'm gonna look this way. But what I'm going to do, by the way, this is obviously my first time testing it, so I've never used this before. I don't know if I shake it. I don't know, but go ahead and just, oh, wait, was that, what the? Wait, did, I, did something go on there? Oh my gosh, this is so cool! Whoa! Do you guys see that? Okay, this is like really cool, you guys. It is definitely pricey. I think this costs like $49.95 or something. But like, okay. I thought it was gonna come out, like you know a dry shampoo and hairspray, I thought it was gonna come out like that, but it's just like, they're literally like hair fibers. They're like little fibers. I don't know if you guys can see that, and I don't know if it's gonna zoom. Do you guys see right up there? They're legit, it's like a powder. It's like a legit powder. Huh. Now one thing I am concerned with is the fact that I touch my hair all the time. I'm constantly like going like this, trying to flip it over, doing all kinds of stuff. Do you guys see how much more full my hair looks? Get some more right there. Uh, see that was the issue, that was my problem and that was my concern with this. Do you guys see this? I don't know if you guys can see this, but it totally got under my nails. I'm going to go ahead, wash my hands really, really, really well. I don't know if I'm like in the... Doesn't that look like weird? Doesn't it look like I'm wearing a wig or something? Oh! Oh. Oh, uh-uh. Like, do you guys... I don't know. Like, I feel like it looks different in the viewfinder than it does here. Like, in real life. But... I don't know, these fibers are literally getting everywhere. They're all over my desk. 
They're all over my forehead now. I'm gonna go ahead and just spray my hair up here. Because another thing that Topics claims is that once you put this in your hair, it's not going anywhere um, until you actually shower. So you can work out, sweat, you can get caught in the rain and nothing is going to come off. It's not going to, which I'm kind of concerned because I literally just went like that and it just all started flaking down. But I did spray it. I'm going to test this out for the rest of the day. Like I said, I'm going to really wash and soak my nails so I can kind of get that. Ooh, that smells good. This hairspray smells good. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I am going to play with my hair. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm literally going to act like this is... Ooh. I love the f I love the fullness it gives. I really, truly do. And I'm not liking the way that this looks right here because it literally looks like one of those really bad wigs. So I'm going to go clean that up. I'm also going to clean underneath my fingernails, make sure that there's nothing under here. And I'm going to come back and show you guys at the end of the day what my nails look like and what this looks like and I'm gonna give you my final review. So far, I don't think I'm gonna like this. I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I really don't. It's a mess, it's all over my desk, it's all under my fingernails. Um, while I do like the way that it looks, and there's that fullness right there, and it doesn't, you know, have that like, you know, you can't really see through my hair. I love that aspect to it, but on the flip side, if I have to deal with crap underneath my nails and then a wig looking like hair, you see what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm going to go. I will catch you, catch up with you guys towards the end of the day and see what my fingernails look like and give you my final thoughts. Okay, so it is the next evening. It is literally Sunday night at 9.18. I just got out of the shower. My files are corrupt. I literally edited this whole entire video and when I went to export, it exports for like just a few minutes and then it tells me like something about the files. So, I'm gonna kind of preview what it was that I was telling you guys yesterday when I came back to show you. First of all, okay, first I've taken a shower, so you know, I, wa I think I washed the stuff out of my hair. I don't know. Hold on. It is still like, it is just like clumped up in my hair. So the whole like, but it's not, it's not clumped up in a good way though. Like it's a, it's, it's a clumped up in a way where it's like, girl, what is on your scalp? So would I recommend this system? I would say if you have very thinning hair and you want a quick alternative that's a temporary fix, I would say yes. For me personally, since I cut my hair and I do have, it's not as thin as it was when I originally purchased the system, I'm going to definitely take it back just because of the fact that it's messy, the fact that I kind of felt even though it gave me this volume that I was looking for, it still kind of looked like a really bad wig. You could definitely tell it wasn't natural. Um, it got under my fingernails all day yesterday. It was like in chunks, so it wasn't as bad as like a dry shampoo where it just looks like you like haven't showered in days. But I mean, see like this right here, I just took it off my scalp. I literally just came out of the shower and already like my fingernails are dirty. So, plus the fact, again, that it's like just clumped up on my scalp. I'm going to have to like scrape that off. I would definitely say for me, it's definitely not worth it because I don't have like super thinning hair. Like I, I mean, I still have the thinning hair, but because I lifted the weight off of my length, it then lifted this up and then lifted this up a little bit. You see what I'm saying? So as my hair grows longer again, because I am gonna grow it back out, and it starts to get flatter, therefore showing the thinness again, I will definitely purchase this system. So I'm kind of in this thing where it's like, if you just want thicker, fulling, thicker looking hair, 
just keep wishing for it. <laughs> Maybe buy some vitamins or something like that. This is not a system I would recommend for you. If you do have thinning hair and you do want something to kind of just make it look like you have hair, then absolutely I would definitely recommend this. This has so many amazing reviews on Ulta. It's just personally not for me. So I hope that that makes sense. Um, I'm gonna try to get this video up and edited. Um, I gotta go to work tomorrow. My bedtime is like 10.30, so we're running on a schedule here. It is a tight schedule and a tight ship. So yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that it was very informative. I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I left out. It was messy. It kept getting underneath my fingernails. There's a big chunk of my scalp. Um, the hairspray spills really good. I feel like they should sell it as a system. And I think that's everything I have to say. If there is something in the editing process that I think about, I will write it in the description box. So definitely keep an eye out for the description box to see if there's anything else that I'm adding to this review. And also, all of the products will be linked down there as well. I love you guys so much. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.